Hey everyone, it's me Curtis. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, or welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. As you guys can probably tell from the title, today's video is going to be a vlog. I'm not positive on what I'm going to be doing really anyway today. So I just hope you guys enjoy what um, I plan on doing. And also, I haven't done a vlog in a long time, so... Today that I'm filming this as you guys can see his bill needs to be clean he dirties it up so fast but I just re um, placed his food and I will just have to do his water in one second anyway another thing that I did was I made these little uh, really simple cardboard toys for my mice they just have pumpkin seeds on the inside of them because I did harvest a pumpkin earlier today and uh, yeah so I'm, we're gonna be giving these to my mice in a little bit here's my bird Anna as you guys can okay here's my bird Anna as I was saying um, I did just clip her wings, and she can still fly, of course, obviously a little bit, short distances. I may make a whole video about that, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys her for today's video. Here is Sage, as you guys can see, he is due for a cage clean, um, but he did eat, uh, five live goldfish. I am kind of switching him on over to some live foods more recently. I'm not going to be feeding him only goldfish, because I know that they have that, um, enzyme in them. But uh, I wanted to try it out, and within a couple hours, he had eaten all five of them. So that's just something different that I've been wanting to try out with him. I'm just going along to Odysseus. I was handling him earlier today. I may be feeding him later. But as you guys can see, he did shed recently, which is really interesting. Um, I didn't think he was due to shed, but I guess his behavior when I tried to hold him the other day kind of showed that. He was very agitated. But yeah, that's just kind of an update on his tank. If you guys have actually not seen this tank setup, you can click up here in the card to see how I set up his tank. Then here, as you guys can see, I have my praying mantis enclosure. You guys can see Eden right here. You can check out that video where I introduced her up here. She is still doing very, very well, but if you guys can actually notice from this little uh, keyframe right here, there is something stuck on the lid over here, and if you are observant enough, you will also notice that there was something else over there. So what those are are egg cases that my praying mantis laid, which is kind of saddening because usually when praying mantis, um, female praying mantids, lay eggs, that's usually signifies the end of their life. However, like I said, she is still doing well. She ate a cricket yesterday, and I just guess I'll keep you guys updated on these egg cases. I have left them alone. I read something about a cold period then other people didn't recommend that so I'm just gonna do more research but if everything goes right her first egg case that she laid which was this one should be hatching no earlier than December 1st and this one um, a couple weeks after that but of course that's if they are fertile number one and if number two they're in the right conditions to hatch in the first place Without a doubt, Eden is moving a little bit slower than when I first got her, and also, um, if you guys actually haven't seen my most recent video, or not my most recent, but one of my most recent, um, you guys can check out up right here in the corner to see how she eats. It's very interesting, I found how praying mantis eat, and I think a lot of you guys would like to watch that. And where, where are you going? Where are you going? Thank you. Come back, please. Um, Eden has slowed down a bit since the first time I bought her home, but um, regardless, if you guys check out right up here, you can see the video of her eating. I think it's so interesting how praying mantis eat, and I think you guys really enjoy that, especially because when I posted it, not a majority of my subscribers watched it, so don't forget to check that video out. I think you guys would really, really enjoy that. Also, keep in mind that depending on the weather of the day, I will usually keep uh, my praying mantis enclosure right here, but if it is a little cooler, I will just sit it right on the inside of Leo's tank because, or enclosure rather, because it is very, very warm in there. Um, earlier, I actually tweeted about it on Twitter. All of my mice were sleeping up here in their little extension. It was the cutest thing. Right now, you guys can see, I believe that's Willow. Or, yeah, that's Willow, um, my new mouse right there. Um, I'm not sure if I introduced her or not to you guys, but if I did, you can check that out on the iCard. Petunia is right here. Another brief update is that my shop, my uh, Etsy shop, 
actually now offers free shipping. So um, I did mess with the prices a little bit just to make sure I'm still making like the same amount of income. But since it's like that Black Friday and holiday time of the year, just about now, um, Etsy is promoting shops with free shipping. So I know that's something a lot of you guys were asking about. So yes, now my Curtis the Saint Vet Shop does offer free shipping. I'm currently making some oatmeal for my chickens. This is just plain oats, old fashioned oats with bananas in it. Um, the bananas were a little overripe. I already made it, I actually put it in the freezer to cool down. And then I forgot about it, so it got a little too cold, and then it got really thick. So I just put it over the stove top to get a little bit more warm. Because that's the whole point of me giving it to my chickens. Although it is only uh, November 10th, like I said, Leo's birthday. It is super cold outside for some odd reason. All right, so here is the completed oatmeal. I just put it in the chicken bowl, and I'm just gonna let it cool down for a little bit without putting it in the freezer, just because it's just a little too hot. So I'm just gonna let it sit for a few minutes before we actually go give it to the chickens. So just backtracking a little bit while the oatmeal is warming, no, cooling down a little bit. Um, I going back to the turtle, like I was saying, let me know if any of you guys feed your turtles or have turtles that you feed live food to, or just let me know in general what your diet is that you feed them. Um, I do feed Leo, or Leo. <laughs> I do feed my turtle Sage the Reptoman, and I usually get a big thing of it, which is actually in my room, and it ran out, which is why I know I'm gonna be going to the expo in a few weeks, hopefully, so I'm just gonna buy it again there. But I wanted to just kind of be feeding him some live food before then, and I wanted to try it out. So let me know what you guys feed your fish. I know, or a turtle, I cannot talk today. Um, I know goldfish, like I said, is not good as a like a staple because they have the enzyme which reptiles cannot exactly process. Leave that down below in the comments. Thank you. Guys, I am not exaggerating. I just, I'm coming outside right now to give the chickens the food, and it is snowing outside. I know you guys are not going to be able to see it, but it is literally snowing right now. I'm trying to like make it so you guys can possibly see it, but wow. Guys, this is really crazy. It is actually snowing. Wow. But as I'm on my way to my chicken coop, you guys are going to notice once I get back there that my two white chickens have a few feathers plucked off, um, actually quite a few. And that is because I can talk about this in a whole other video but they had some dominance issues and they were like really fighting it out. The other chickens were kind of like uh, attacking, uh, not attacking, I don't wanna say that cause I don't wanna make it seem like they were abusing each other, but essentially my oldest two white chickens were fighting and uh, not fighting. Oop, um, as you guys can see, those are my two chickens that I was talking about. Their feathers actually are growing back. They grow back extremely fast, but regardless, that's not what this is about. I just wanted to give them some oatmeal. So as you guys can see, they really do love oatmeal. Oh, 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 no, 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 come back. All right, you're not getting any oatmeal, so have fun. Anyway, here are my um, little girls eating. Chicken feathers grow back really, really fast, which is why I'm not worried about it at this point. There's really nothing I can do about it, but if you guys have had something like this happen to you, let me know. Uh, down below in the comments and how you reacted to it uh, Their food is actually almost out so I will have to go refill that as well But for now I just gave them some gave them some gave them some gave them some apples earlier which they ate And here's the thing she's still really mean when she has like no feathers clearly you've not learned your lesson Honey go eat the oatmeal okay before it's all gone. This is like really good for them to warm them up uh, even though chickens really are not going to go cold, especially in November when it's not even snowing. Or actually it is. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come. Hey. Alright. The electric fence it will shock you. I had to turn it off, guys. Because it's literally... Yo, guys, it's snowing harder. This is crazy. Alright, so after a bit of chasing, I got her and I'm going to put her in the coop now. Alright, guys, it's freezing outside. I only came out here with a thin fleece, so my nose is starting to run. I'm just going to end the video here. There's the chicken coop. Uh, we will see the chickens again in another video. Um, but that is it for today's. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which is at Curtis Hussain, just like my channel name. And sorry if you guys are like hearing all of the wind. And you can also uh, shop for pet supplies on my website, which I will leave linked in the description of all my videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.